hear so many sounds in our surroundings in our daily life. When a lion roars, we hear a sound. If we pluck the string of a musical instrument, say a guitar, we hear a sound. Water pouring into a glass, bat hitting the ball, water hitting the rocks, etc. are some of the examples of different sounds. Sound plays a very important role in our life and most importantly, it helps us to communicate with each other. Have you ever thought about what actually produces the sound? To answer this question, first we need to understand vibration. What is vibration? It is to and fro or back and forth motion of an object. For example, if we stretch this rubber band with one hand and pluck it in the middle, it starts to move back and forth. In short, it starts to vibrate. It is this vibration that produces the sound. Yes. Anything that vibrates will produce sound. We will learn more about this in the next video. We know that the voice of adults and children differ. Why is it that the sounds are different? What separates the sounds? Why is it that some sounds are louder than the others? Why are some of the sounds pleasant while other ones are annoying? We will answer all these questions in the coming videos. These are the points that we are going to elaborate on in this series of videos based on sound. Vibrating bodies produce sound, medium of propagation of sound, amplitude, frequency and time period of vibration, loudness and pitch, audible and inaudible sounds, noise pollution and measures to control it. Do watch our coming videos to learn about these concepts and much more.